Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build a Lego Ninjago Anacondry Crusher. This is set number 70745, 219 pieces, and a couple minifigures. Looks like we got Kai and Crate. Now this set is new for 2015. I'm a fan of Ninjago, so we've got... A lot of the new Ninjago sets already, and we're building them all for you. So we have a wrinkled up, folded instruction book, a couple of these big mining wheels that are just loose in the box, and we have a bag number one and a bag number two. So we're going to start with bag number one. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is build the minifigures. That's usually always the first part of any Lego set. First one done. Next, and there we go. So, those are our two mini figures. So let's get into this build. Zoom out slightly so you can see what's going on. So this is the little auxiliary piece. Have a little catapult there. And it looks like they're shooting some sort of flame. Cones of flames. Have a couple other flames on the side here. So it's our flame launcher. Put that to the side. Don't shoot your eye out. Let's get on to the Anacondry Crusher.
few Technic parts in these Ninjago sets. It's kind of like a um, gateway set to Technic. Get you used to using some of the Technic parts, so when you start building Technic sets, you kind of know what's going on. All right, we're almost done with bag one, believe it or not. It's going pretty quick. And there we go. That's it for bag one. Oh, forgot a couple. Little Technic pins. All right, there we go. So we have a few extra pieces. We actually have four Technic pieces left over, and then one cheese slope. So that is it for bag one. Let's go ahead and bring over bag number two. See what we have in there. ton of small pieces. All right, so we're gonna start with this. Six of these one by one modified plates with a little clip on the side.
Hmm, the instructions show stickers, but I don't, I don't remember getting the sticker sheet. Oh, because it's still in the box. There's the sticker sheet. It was hiding from me. This set really utilizes a lot of the modified plates with the clips on them. Got a wrench on the side of the vehicle for some reason. Now we have eight of these little white spikes. These are actually a little difficult to get on, especially if you want them pointing a certain way. Last one. Okay. This is kind of interesting. We have a skeleton torso. You now we stick one of these white spikes in the, the neck hole, and then we connect where the legs would normally connect to these little black clips and then fold it over like that. Two flick fire missiles. Go right here on the front.
Uh, this is why I don't like these little white spike pieces. They're hard to, to hold on to and clip on. Good enough. Right, so this clips on down there. So that kind of creates the little mouth shape. Next up, we have a couple of the little minor wheel pieces. That in red pushing. contraption goes in there of the day don't push that bushing all the way to where it touches you can leave a little bit of gap see how that kind of moves a little bit that actually allows the wheel to turn a lot better if there's no friction there to see it turns pretty smoothly all right next up is some little sub build side there. Next up is two two of these pieces with two yellow half bushings.
those both go under Two of these scary little choppy blade things. Basically making the little tail piece. we have another little skeleton torso but with the bigger blade and its little neck hole it goes right there so there you go that is the anaconda crusher we do have a couple extra pieces from bag two left over you can see just two technic pieces a couple cheese slopes a white little blade and an extra tire So, that just came off, that goes side to side, and here's what's cool about it, when you push it, those little rubber wheels are touching the ground. Let's push this one down a little bit. Pretty cool little set if you ask me. That's why I like the Ninjago. There's another little clip over here. That's for our blade. Put that guy in there. And there we go. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other builds that we do on this channel. Make sure to check out String Cheese and Applesauce where we have all of our other cool Lego videos. And yeah, that's it. Give us a big thumbs up if you like what you saw and we'll see you next time.